In this video, you will discover the five ways to make him prioritize you. Hey ladies, this is Antje Boyd. I'm founder of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, if you are new to my channel, comment, like, and subscribe so you get notified for more juicy videos coming your way. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Number five, he must be afraid to lose you. Girlfriend, if he takes you for granted, if he thinks he has you wrapped around his little finger, he's not gonna value you. He's not gonna respect you. It's really that simple. And because of that, he's not going to prioritize you. However, if you are busy, if you know that who, what your values, and we're gonna go into that in a later point as well, and if you have a full schedule and not, see, this is like where I have to really, like really, really say that again, is not, don't fill up your schedule so he prioritizes you. Fill up your schedule because you're prioritizing yourself. So this is really important because if you do something to get him to do something, like it's not gonna work, right? You have to understand the psychology behind it. So you see, when I was dating this guy in 2010 and he invited me, to go on a sailing trip with him on a Sunday afternoon. And for some of you, you have heard that story before. And I realized, wait a minute, so in order for him to prioritize me, I need to actually also prioritize myself and I need to learn how to make myself happy without him. So that was really important. So I actually turned him down on a Sunday afternoon where every woman would have like licked all of her 10 fingers, so to say. Um, after this opportunity. However, what it led to him prioritizing me, him calling me, him texting me, him asking me out on dates, and he continued me for quite a while. And yes, in the end, it didn't work out, but not because he didn't prioritize me, but because we had simply totally different goals. So try that out, girlfriend. Number four, this goes right along with it, is he sees you as high value. Question. Are you investing in yourself? Are you investing time in yourself? Are you taking your time to do your hair in the morning? Are you taking your time to take care of yourself, to get a massage, to get some acupuncture, like to, to get a facial? Like, are you investing in yourself? Are you getting support, either coaching support or a mentor, whatever the case may be, and whichever area is needed for you? Are you investing in yourself? Are you investing in yourself energetically? Meaning, are you taking a time that when you are on a date, you actually start to take a deep breath? Hmm, let me actually become present with myself. Let me become aware of myself. Are you actually doing that? High value women are doing that. That's why they go and powder their nose in the bathroom, not necessarily because they really need to powder their nose in the bathroom, but because they come back into their own energy. They don't get caught up in the other person. Now, when I say energy, what I mean by that is when someone tells a story, as an example, when a man tells an example, like a story, right? You have two choices. You can either stay with yourself, you can listen, but I almost like visualize somewhat like there's almost like this this rod or this golden light, like the center of your body, just going through your body and just anchoring you into the ground. So you're still with yourself, you're like aligned. Or you're leaving your body. It feels like you're leaving your body because if I were to say, feel your feet firmly rooted on the ground, you're like, what feet? <laughs> and so that's what's really important. It's like realizing, staying with yourself, being aware of yourself. Do you feel your feet rooted on the ground? Do you feel your butt on the chair? Do you feel your back leaning against the chair? Do you feel yourself breathing? Do you feel your heart, your heart uh, beating and so on? Are you aware of yourself? If you do, he will see you as a high value woman because you are investing in yourself. That means you're increasing your own value. Now, if you have challenges with that, I recommend taking my free quiz to attract the right man for you at magnetizeyourman.com where you also get more specialized dating strategies and tips as well. So let's go ahead and continue to partay. Number three, 
is this is really interesting you communicate into his value system so here's what's really interesting and i learned this concept from dr john de martini he's of course a philosopher and a mentor and a coach and all of that and he talks about this concept about communicating into someone's value system if you try to teach a you know like an whatever a 15 year old math and a 15 year old who doesn't want to do math like the reason why the 15 year old doesn't want to do math because the 15 year old doesn't see how math is actually positively influencing his or her life however if you communicate into her value system so let's say uh, let's say it's a, a woman okay um and she like hey if you know math you know how many shoes you can buy you know you know how much money you have left over to go on your trip with your girlfriends or whatever the case may be then you communicate into her value system right you really understand what are her values and how can i connect what i want her to do in the moment with that value system so same with men if you actually communicate into his value system maybe he likes sports or maybe he likes to have uh you know maybe he loves food my husband is a foodie oh, like if food was like a sixth love language that's what we would pick so whatever that is for him right like so maybe you communicate through that love language to him of course the love languages are acts of service so also seeing does he rather want a massage or you know whatever he feels like taking care of or is this is love language um touch right is this love language words of affirmation and this by the way this takes some awareness from your side because it's not about you communicating to him your own love language but it's about learning about his love language right that also can really um, lead to him seeing you as a priority why is because he feels good around you he feels good around you you know and that's like something we're moving towards what makes us feel good i mean this is just it's a fact okay then also let go of attachment girlfriend if you are in the anxious attachment style camp he can feel it he will not prioritize you because he knows you have already put him on a pedestal so what needs to happen is you need to do a releasing exercise right you need to visualize him becoming smaller and smaller because when you visualize him becoming smaller and smaller and floating away from you in a box or a balloon or whatever you want to visualize what happens is your brain starts to disassociate your brain starts to see things more abstract and the attachment starts to loosen so i'm not saying that you let him go and i know i hear this all the time i know so don't freak out about that that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying it's over you have to let go of him what i'm saying is let go of the attachment i can feel it too when someone is really attached to me when somebody really wants me to do something i can feel it. it's so weird it's like it's like this pressure around you there's like this obligation you feel like there's like the string around you something is there where it's like mm, that like oh right in the reason and, and by the way the only way how you can really release the attachment is by making your attachment right if you release attachment from a place of resistance because you make that part inside of you wrong it's not gonna work right because then you become even more anxious afterwards because that part inside of you is like no 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 you don't understand you don't understand like i need to be attached right now to feel safe i need to be attached right now so i feel certain so i have consistency or so i have uh you know i feel like i know something right i have certainty which by the way is not true at all because if anything it actually flares up the nervous system response even more especially the hypertonic nervous system response versus the hypotonic ones right so that's important to know as well it's like letting go of attachment it's so interesting men are always feeling like they, they could feel like they could lose you if you let go why are they not attached to me oh she's not where she used to be oh she's not oh i checked in with her and now she's no longer in that place uh where is she is she dating someone else so you always want to create a little bit of intrigue okay and then of course if you haven't joined my free magnetize human dating support facebook group hop on over to mymfacebookgroup.com to get more questions answered for you and finally number one is 
minimize texting girlfriend. Okay, I could say so much about that. I am such an anti-texting person because we really say we want to use texting as an appointment setting device. Say that after me. I use my phone as an appointment setting device. Now, why do you do that? Well, think about it this way. Why would he prioritize you? He could just send you a text, just a smiley face, if you even get that. So he gets away with the path of least resistance. And he also stays in the illusion that he's actually connected to you, which in reality, he's really not. However, if you minimize texting, you actually encourage him to call you, to reach out to you, to show up at your doorstep. It never fails. I just talked with a client about this and this guy was texting her and she didn't text him back and then he called her. Okay, so that's how it works. You, you unconsciously send hand men a resume, an emotional resume. You set an emotional atmosphere. I say this over and over and every single time, it, how they treat you. So if you're like, you know what? I'm not really a texter, but you're not just saying it, but you're actually meaning it. Meaning you're not texting as much. You're just texting two words. Yeah, day was good, you know? And don't ask him questions back because then you start this whole conversation. And this is what I see all the time when women come to me. It's like paragraphs of conversations, talking about how their day was, talking about how their weekend was. Why in the world should I need to hang out with you? Like, why? Why should I? Like, I don't need to because I already have all the answers. I feel like I'm so full with all the contact that I have already made with you. So minimize the texting. So ladies, if you like this video, again, I invite you to go to magnetizeyourman.com, take your free quiz there, and also my training is on there as well, the free step training, how to attract an emotionally available and high quality man into your life. Ladies, this is it for today. Much love to you, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.